Thank you for watching. Over the course of the next five minutes, I'm going to give you a close look at this veranda stateroom on Holland America's Eurodam. My name is Scott and welcome to Let's All Cruise. Now this ship actually launched in 2008, so she's exactly 15 years old, but I think she's been pretty well maintained. And I have sailed on some of her sister ships in the past, so I can tell the upgrades that they've made. So about five years ago, they did put this 40-inch uh, TV on the wall, and they also added USB outlets as well. In fact, there's four of them in the room, so it's relatively well equipped. By the way, this stool, uh, the lid actually comes off and you can store things in there. So let's take a closer look at the fridge, which is a stocked mini bar, but they don't overstock it. So there's, there's room for you to put your own items in there. And the price list is shown there. If you want to see that, go to my website, letsallcruise.com. Now here in the desk, you'll find uh, two US outlets, two European outlets, and two USBs as well. You'll also find a switch that controls the light that's above the mirror. Now this little shelf is where the original tiny TV was, and that's why there's a couple more outlets on the wall here. Uh, now that sofa is in fact a sofa bed and sleeps one person. So this room can sleep three and some of the rooms can sleep four as well. Um, this bed is currently configured as a king, but of course you can ask your room steward to separate them uh, into two separate uh, twin beds. Each of the nightstands has two drawers and there's also a USB on each side and you can also control the master lights uh, in the room. Uh, each side of the bed has just this uh, small LED reading light and I really wish they had also added a bedside lamp as well. Now, talking of lights, the light that you see under the closet, that actually comes on automatically at night when you walk past it, which is really cool. One of the great things about Holland America is they have tons of storage, um, lots of different cupboards, and there's three uh, separate closets here. They're all side by side. Some of these shelves flip up so you can hang up dresses, uh, other longer items. There's a, a full length mirror on the back of one of the doors, as you can see here. And of course, there is a safe and just lots of hangers. If you don't have enough, by the way, ask your room steward. The safe is huge and one of the largest I've seen in a long time. You could definitely get a full laptop uh, in here. My passport is shown for scale. Now the bathroom is uh, decent. It's a reasonable size. This is definitely one of the places where the ship does show its age. I think it's quite plain. It's quite utilitarian. Um, it does have a bathtub. Um, not all of the rooms have bathtubs though, so do check carefully the deck plan but they have nice upgraded amenities from Elemis, which I really appreciate. They do have a wash line, and unfortunately they do use a shower curtain, um, but some of the newer uh, Holland America ships do have glass enclosures uh, for the bath and the shower, which I think is a really welcome improvement. The lighting is very bright. Um, it's kind of harsh, to be honest, not particularly flattering. Um, there is also a shaver outlet too. Elemis soap and lotion on the wall here. And one of my favorite features is this night light. So the regular lights are turned off and this single LED is lighting up the whole bathroom. Great at night. And this actually is what the rest of the room looks like with the rest of the lights off. So that's just the two bedside uh, reading lights and that automatically activated uh, foot light in front of the bathroom door. Or if you prefer it bright, this is with all the lights on um, at night. And I found it way too bright, but you can turn off most of the room lights, leaving um, just the bedside ones and a couple extra ones on, which was, uh, which was quite nice. Well, back to daylight, and uh, let's take a closer look at the balcony. And honestly, I really like this balcony. Um, it's not huge, um, but it is slightly bigger than the Princess uh, ship I was on recently. And I really liked the uh, balcony furniture. It was quite premium. Uh, these chairs were recliners and there was a little footstool as well, which is really nice uh, if you want to relax. And by the way, if you're traveling with friends or family, just ask your room steward and he will be able to open up the divider between the balconies. Now this was uh, deck five, which is the veranda deck, and we were above the level of the lifeboats here, so this was not uh, an obstructed balcony, but you can see deck four below. Um, those ocean view cabins are absolutely staring straight out at lifeboats. If you want to see how this Holland America veranda from 2008 compares with a brand new princess ship, check out this other video.